This is the key to written homework 44. So part A says sketch the volume. Okay. So for part A, to make our sketch, Uh, the first thing is let's make some traces. So how about the X, Z trace of this function? So the X, Z trace, that is when Y is zero. So if we take this, Z is five minus square root x squared plus y squared, and we take y to be 0, then that's z is 5 minus square root of x squared. And then the square root of x squared is absolute value of x. So in this case, we have the relation z is 5 minus absolute value of x. So the XZ trace looks like this. Whoops, XZ. Trace. So it starts out at uh, 5, so up here at 5. And then when x is 5, 5 minus absolute value of 5 is 0. And then when x is negative 5, absolute value of negative 5 is also 5. Okay, so that's what the x xz trace looks like. The <clears throat> yz trace, that is to say when x is 0 <clears throat> through, a comp through a symmetric argument, that is z is 5 minus absolute value y. And the picture is the same. <clears throat> and then uh, one more. One more <clears throat> will help us uh, see what's going on. So let's do how about the zero uh, level set. That is to say when z is zero. So we took y is zero, x is zero, and z is zero. <clears throat> so when that's the case, we have zero is 5 minus the square root of x squared plus y squared. So 5 is the square root of x squared plus y squared. So 5 squared, uh, 5 squared is x squared plus y squared. And this is the circle of radius 5. So this is not at the same scale as the other ones. So it would look like this in the xy plane. So combining these all together, the picture looks like this. <clears throat> so
So the blue circle is in the xy plane. In the xz plane is the red. And in the yz plane, parallel with the page, is the green. And so this shape is a cone. <clears throat> Now, <clears throat> this is a cone that has height h is 5 and radius r is 5. So the height and the radius are the same which is good because for part B the double integral is how we would usually get volume however using the techniques that we've discussed in the class alone, you don't have the ability to uh, anti-differentiate this term, so you can't use the fundamental theorem, uh, which would make it quite difficult um, to evaluate this integral as is. However, because the height of this function is non-negative, that means that this volume is the same as your grade school notion of volume. So we can just use the formula for the volume of a cone, which is one-third pi r squared pi r squared h. So in this case, that is one-third pi times 125. That's the answer.